Welcome to our Energy Connect studio at Gastec 2022. I'm delighted to have him sitting next to me, John Kent, Chief Energy Transition Officer at Kent. Thank you so much for taking the time out of uh, day two of Gastec to come and talk to me at our Energy Connect studio. I'm delighted to be here. Thank you very much for having me. Now, I wanted to sort of talk about, you know, technologies and services that, you know, are helping transform the, the energy industry from your perspective. And, also, what innovations are Kent looking at or what technologies are you hoping to bring to market that could help the energy society? Yeah, sure. It's, it's, it's a good question. Um, first of all, I suppose to get, give context in relation to Kent. So we're an energy um, service provider uh, working the whole way through conventional into renewables. Um, but what's really important for us is that our 12,000 people globally are very much focused upon delivering energy solutions that are responsible. Um, because that res underpinning responsibility is key to, to the path towards net zero. In terms of what w the areas where we're playing is, um, first of all, at the early stage master planning area, okay. we're actually helping our core clients do decarbonization master planning. Um, we've got our own proprietary tools um, that help right from the very outset actually master plan okay. your industrial facilities to figure out how you can actually either A, lower your carbon footprint, or B, actually design your, your facilities to have, have the what? lowest possible carbon footprint. So we do that at the master planning phase and then the whole way through into execution. Um, we're also working on some of the, some of the key renew or low carbon and renewable projects in the world, such as blue hydrogen, offshore okay. wind, et cetera. What sort of opportunities do you see in the renewable market? And is it sort of new renewable energy players or um, you know, the traditional oil and gas companies who are looking to sort of decarbonize or get into that market? Well, you, it, I suppose if you, if you look, you, there's a number of, number of things going on. I suppose, first of all, in terms of the traditional energy players, they're very much looking to a decarbonize their existing yeah. facilities b also kind of lean into energy transition you've got the likes of bp who are heavily yeah. invested in wind you've got the likes of adnoc who are looking at blue ammonia and yeah. tazis um, and of course then you've got exxon and some of the other international players that again looking at carbon capture and storage so you've, you've got a different mix of plays yeah. um, but then equally so you've got young independents you've got like vertex in the uk we're working with them right now to develop a blue, a blue hydrogen facility. Okay. Um, and, uh, and also then you've got the governmental play because the economics are pretty tough to make them work in some of these projects. So yeah. government intervention and support is critical. Absolutely. And sort of touching on there, like government and companies, um, pol you know, strategies, but what are the opportunities that you see uh, for industry collaboration and how important is that going to be for everyone going forward? Yeah, I think industry collaboration is absolutely critical. If you... If, if, a lot of these either technologies or indeed markets, they're new. Um, so without collaboration, be it from client to service company or even into, into actually market distribution, without that collaboration, you actually won't get the acceleration required in terms of development technology, development of markets, even if you take the hydrogen market, the hydrogen market needs to scale if blue hydrogen, green hydrogen are really going to, going to take off. Yeah. To scale needs collaboration right across the value chain. And assume, you know, uh, in your role, obviously, will be global as well. So obviously, we're here in Milan um, for Gas Tech, but obviously, I think you know the energy transition is a global um, issue, and Agreed. you know you must be busy then. <laughs> yeah, no, it's been actually it's been a really good couple of days in, in Gas Tech so far. Um, really good, actually, high quality meetings. Great. What we're also finding is that kind of a lot of the thought leadership in certain markets. Where, that are more advanced than the likes of blue hydrogen or wind, yeah. et cetera, that they are actually cascading into the developing markets and being able to straddle those markets from, from, Kent's, from a Kent perspective is great because we have that global footprint where we can yeah. bring technologies, et cetera, um, right across the globe to, to uh, any of our new markets. And we're sort of going into the end half of 2022. Um, we've got Adipet coming up in a yes. month and then also COP27 um, in Sharm El Sheikh in Egypt. Yes. What's Kent going to be doing either at both of those? Yeah. Um, what, what well, look, I think Adipec, first of all, is really exciting for us. Um, UAE is pretty much our home market. We yeah. do a lot of work with, um, with ADNOC, uh, both in the conventional space and also in the low carbon space. Um, so really excited. Uh, last year was a really good event. It was, uh, I suppose, the first large scale post-COVID event. So there was yeah. a lot of energy. This year, I expect something similar. Um, in COP, a... Egypt is going to be really interesting because I suppose it's the, it's the first post-Glasgow. Um, Glasgow, there was some momentum, but probably not the momentum that a lot of people would have liked. 
So hopefully we're going to see um, a little bit more movement there. Um, we've been helping out in some green hydrogen projects actually in that region. So uh, we're excited that, um, that we can both, I suppose, assist on the policy side right. in addition to the practical side of actually delivering projects. Great, John. Well, look, really appreciate you popping down to the Energy Connect studio. It's been fantastic. Thank you. And I hope That's you have a, a great rest of the show. Thank you.